Hi there, this is Thomas Eugene Schussler III, and these are the new Commander decks that have just come out. So me and my brother are going to rip them open, we're going to play a game with uh, two of them, and then we'll be playing another game with another two of them probably tomorrow, probably. And then uh, I don't know what we're doing with the third one because there's five of them. So these are the Streets of New uh, NC, Streets of NC Commander decks, obviously. New Capanna, is that how you pronounce it? Capanna? Yeah, I don't know. Whatever. But anyway, um, so we'll be playing uh, two Commander games, and then I don't know what we're doing with the, the fifth one. I don't know if we're going to just crack it open and show you what's inside, or if we'll just have the fifth one against one of these other Commander decks, and you'll see one of them twice, or if we'll just have the uh, fifth one versus a... Uh, one of our actual commander decks, one one that we've actually made ourselves. If you have a preference, go ahead and uh, leave it in the comments section. It sounds like my brother wants to take one of them up against the actual one of our regular commander decks. So looks like we might be doing that. But if you have a preference, leave what you'd like to see in the comments section. If we don't have really a response before it comes time to crack open that fifth one, then we'll probably just do whatever the hell we want. <laughs> Although I'll be honest, we might might just do that anyway. But we, if, if we get some opinions, if then uh, we'll take those into account. So uh, we're gonna look at these, figure out which two we're gonna play first, and then uh, we'll get the show on the road. All right, so uh, we're gonna crack these open and sleeve them and all that, and then uh, we'll get this uh, game underway. I'm gonna be using the Rhino Warrior here. We're gonna be using uh, the Pulverizer. And he gets a shield counter, and he's going to be buffing up my guys whenever he attacks. Kind of hard to see because of the glimmer on there. There you go. And then my brother is going to be using Kamiz. Uh, is that how you say his name? Kamiz? The, the Oculus. Obscura Oculus. So he's going to be using the Oculus guy, Plains Island Swamp color combination. The Rogue guy. And he's going to be giving his uh, creatures connive and double strike, a combination of the two. You can read his things there. So we're going to crack these open. We'll get them sleeved, and then uh, we'll get this game underway for you. All right. So we've got the uh, deck cell set up. We got them sleeved, got them shuffled, and my brother here won the dice roll. So he'll be going first. And there's my starting hand right there. Hopefully it's coming in on the camera. You can kind of see it. There's mine. And we're off to the races. You're up, gay. Okay, okay now let me uh let me pause this video and rewind it so I can see what you put in the camera and then <laughs> Then we can get this game started. <laughs> Alright, I'll play Creeping Tar Pit. It enters the battlefield tapped. It produces a blue or a black. Uh, and then tap one, a blue and a black. It becomes a 3 2 creature. Okay. Uh, you can go. All right, I'm draw. Okay. Wow. Okay, we're gonna play Fortified Village, and we'll just have it empty, enter tapped, and that's my turn. All right, I will untap, draw. Oh, I guess we can kind of show what we're playing into the camera. I will play Esper, whatever the fuck. Like Esper Panorama. Anyways, tap, sack, I'll search. Oh, you yeah, had to tap one to sack it? To yeah. search? Oh, no, well, that's sad. You may go. Oh, okay, I'll take my turn while he's doing that. Uh, okay. We are going to play... Oh, I guess I could show you what I drew. There you go. That's my draw right there. This is my draw from last turn. There you go. I am going to play Flooded Grove and I'm tapping my village and my grove to bring out 
Incubation Druid. And that'll be my turn. Kind of hoping these go a little bit faster than the last one we, we, we recorded. The last one was like, I think it was over two and a half hours, man. Jesus, we're gonna we're gonna be doing three games, and I'm up for a. We we already played some Commander today, so I'm not I'm not really in the mood for another two and a half hour, two and a half three hours of Commander. I, I'm hoping this will be between like somewhere between an hour and an hour and a half. But we'll All see how right. it goes. Draw. Oh, you're not going to show them what you drew? I will. Oh, I'm guessing it was a land and you're slapping it down right now. No. Oh. Uh, I will play an island. Um, I guess I will. Tap three. For champion of wits. It is a 2-1. What's it do when it enters the battlefield? Uh, enters the battlefield, you may draw cards equal to the its power. If you do, discard two cards. In which I may actually... You're going to go for it. Follow up. That... It's not good. Um, I guess we'll, I guess we'll discard these two. Those are the two you drew, aren't they? <laughs> One of them was. Oh. Is that your turn? Uh, that is turn. Okay, I'm going to draw. This is what I drew right there. Okay, let's go with that. My sky sky cloud uh, sky cloud expanse. There you go, and we're going to. Uh, we'll tap. We're gonna tap four. Bring my commander out and put a shield counter on him. Oops. And that's gonna be my turn. So there's my commander right there. Give you a quick read if you can read it. Hopefully it showed up on the camera. I don't know. I will play a. That's what I drew. Was a swamp. I'll play it. Um, we'll see if everything's coming up in the camera. Yep, everything's on the camera good. I mean, as good as we can hope. I'll have to figure out a better way to record this, but I just, I'll have to do some browsing around. I'm just some chump on YouTube and I'm a busy guy, so. Not exactly high quality material we're dealing with here. Hmm. I will tap out. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. 
will tap out for my probe here. Okay. My um, real uh, Wheeler Road. Road. And you create two 1 1 thopters. That two untapped artifacts you control target creature can't be blocked. Well, that kind of sucks. We're not a fan of those unblockable people, man. I don't really like that sort of thing myself. Hmm. Well, that kind of sucks. Such so turn. Uh, I believe so. Okay, I'm gonna draw. Here is what I drew. Uh, okay. That's not really helpful at the moment. And uh, we'll put a forced untap my elf. What do I need to to adapt it? Uh, more than what I've got. I need two forced and three, and right now I've got two forced and two. Hmm. Suckage. Uh. Ah. Okay. Okay, well, I guess I guess I'm gonna play this. Oh, we'll tap that. That we'll use that to tap that to produce the the water, the plains, and then I got a forest over here to play that at the beginning of your upkeep. So draw a card if you control a creature with the greatest power among creatures on the battlefield. Otherwise put a 1-1 one, one counter on a uh, creature you control. It's a primal epiphany. And attacking is not really going to do any good. Uh, I guess that's my turn. I guess we're going to hold off. No, I will. I'm He's got sad. more dues. Ah, I don't know why I'm moving that shit. It's my creatures. I need to move. Awesome. Just what I fucking need. Hopefully I draw a land this next turn because I'm out of land. That's what I drew. That's my land for turn. Th um, thriving. Is Isle. Isle. Thriving Isle. I will name white, I guess. Okay. And then I will... Or at least you got a land. I don't even know if I'm going to have a land. He's bringing something out. Oh, it's command. Oh, fuck. What's he do again? Whenever I attack, um, target creature it can't be blocked oh, this turn. Sure. And it connives. And it's not whenever this guy attacks, it's whenever you attack. attack. Well, that sucks. So you're going to have two unblockable guys pretty much. If you tap your, uh, you can make tap your artifacts. If one of these guys will get connive. Well, that kind of sucked. Yeah. Okay. So, which one's conniving? Uh. Both unblockable. Yeah, so I'll okay. go with that one. Draw a card, and then you can discard any card. If it's a non-land card you discard, it gets the plus one, plus one. 
You're both two twos at the moment. Well, that sucks. I think that I one's going to be real drew. good in the stack. That's pretty true. Uh -huh. Hmm. I will discard this one. Okay, he gets the one one counter. That's what I discarded. So I am five damage. Five damage. Okay, set your turn. I believe so. Okay, I'll draw. Now, what if they're tied for greatest power? If you control a creature with the greatest, okay, so I still draw the card. So there's my first draw. And that's fucked up. No land. Yeah, I wanna get fucked up. Oh. Yeah, I wanna get fucked up too. Pretty yeah, much, yeah, that's what it looks like we got going on here, actually. Oh, uh, I guess we're playing these two, I guess. We're gonna play. I'll tap out. And we're gonna play these two right here. I'm playing my scavenging goose and my devoted druid I, I might swap that out with the devoted druid in my elf deck because I like the artwork of that one better um right so you can't do that you can't tap for the mana yet so that's what would you say you played devoted druid and scavenger mm -hmm. ooze but my druid can't do any uh do mana production yet because it just entered. Okay, that's the board. I could activate the ooze's ability. I don't see what would what would be the gain. I mean, yeah, I'd buff them up, but then I'd lose a blocker. Hmm. All right, and I can always do that at the end of my at the end of your turn if I need to. So, of course, your guys will be unblockable. My rhino is not gonna. Well. He'd become a 4-4 four, four if I attacked with him. But then you'd have the, the bigger attacker next turn. So, hmm. Which means I'm going to get kicked in the face again next turn. So that's nice. Okay, well, that's that's my turn. We're going to get hurt again, people. Huh. I will untap. Draw. He's even got more guys on the field. This, this doesn't happen to me very often where uh, he's got more guys on the field than me. You really did not like what I just drew. Well, that sounds encouraging. Hopefully he doesn't have the mana to pay for it. Oh, I do. Oh, fuck. Or, hey, don't be like that guy. My one guy's got a shield counter on him. I will play my... You're going to show them what you play? It's what I drew. Okay. Gerana, the um, liber Libertarian... Gerana, Liberator uh, of Malakir. 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 Yeah. I don't think I've ever seen you before. Flying first strike. It's that one. Deals combat damage. Oh, fuck. Oh no, this is the this is the bullshit one. God damn it. Oh shit. Well that's bad. Alright. Is it when it attacks or when you attack? When it when attacks. When it attacks. Okay, well that's good. So I've got one turn before that starts kicking in. And it's got flying. I will play split foot boats. I do not have the mana to, to equip it yet. It. We need one more dude. Oh, that's sad. Just for you, though. Wow, this is bad. Um. Wow. This is going south fast, man. Well, I said I wanted quicker games, so there you go. I tapped you two artifacts. What are you conniving? Same guy? Oh, uh, connived that one uh, this time. If your guy becomes stronger than my guy, I won't draw the card, but I will okay. be putting a 1 1 counter Fine. on the creature. I'm just letting you know. 
Oh, but you're putting a counter on a creature. Yeah, if I don't have the strongest creature on the field, I can put a 1-1 counter on a creature. So I'm either going to draw a card or I put a 1-1 counter on the guy. So okay. you're going to connive have... the other guy instead? No. Yeah, you're just going to buff him? Okay. Right. He doesn't want me drawing an extra card. He he doesn't want me drawing a land. Show him what you do. I drew that. That's He's got to one. chuck a non-land one. Um, hmm, which one of these two do I want chucked? This connive ability works even better in Commander than it does a normal deck because you've got more, more cards, so you don't really have the risk of milling out quite as much. That kind of sucks. Dude. <laughs> he doesn't have nothing he wants to discard. That's not a good sign. I don't like the sound of that. <laughs> oh damn! Which one do I want to get rid of? Really hoping I don't get steamrolled here, man. I don't know if I don't draw another land, we're gonna be. I think we're going to discard my little uh, grave blade. Uh, grave blade uh, marauder. No idea what he does, but he's gone now. Uh, when whenever he deals combat damage, he deals damage equal to the number of creatures I have in my graveyard. Oh. And he's got death touch. Oh he's hey, yeah, four. I chuck that guy. I don't like that guy. And you got well, you of... don't you don't like the other stuff. Yeah, that I you have don't in like that. Hand. Holy shit, dude! I think we're gonna get steamrolled, man. Okay, so this is let's see, two, four, five, six damage. Yep. Damn, dude. So twenty nine. Oh crap. Okay, that's your turn. Go for it. You have the strongest guy now, so I'm just going to put a 1-1 counter on a creature, right? Okay. Yeah. That's what I drew. Well, it's not a land. God damn it. Now i got to figure out what I'm doing with that. Uh, who am I putting the 1-1 counter on? Let's put it on... Excuse me. Hmm. This is a tricky one, man. Oh, I don't even have the right. It's not even in the right thing. There we go. Oh, uh, let's. Fuck. Let's put it on our scavenger ooze here. Okay, let's go. One, two, three, and two forest to adapt my druid here so it gets plus three plus three uh plus uh, it gets three one one counters on that? it it's got adapt adapt three adapt three for three and two forest i put oh okay but i can't i can't do that if it's already got one one counters on it so that i can only do it once but now that it's got the one one counters instead of producing one mana it'll produce uh two. three oh. no Add one mana of any type of land that you control that you can produce. If it has a 1-1 one, one counter on it, add three mana of that type. So now I'm going to add three mana instead of instead of one. And I'm going to tap it to produce three to bring out an arcane signet. All right. And I'm going to activate one. Scavenger Ooze's ability to exile okay. that guy you just barely put in there because I don't like the sound of him. And so I put a 1-1 one, one counter on my Scavenger Ooze and I gain one life. But uh, I don't really think that's going to help all that much. This unblockable guy. I'm not liking this unblockable guys, dude. This is pretty bad. Um, yeah, holy crap, dude. His, his deck's a bad fucker, man. Um, okay. I, I guess that's all I can do. I need like a board wipe right. or something. But I'm thinking oh, I'm this is this is green, white, blue. I'm, I'm thinking there's not going to be really... Many board wipes in here. I'll draw. That's what I drew. Uh, I forgot to untap these. Tappy tappy. I will tap a 
And I'm going to what? exile that in your game for life. God damn it. He did, he exiled my ooze. That sucked. Uh, and then we will tap those You know what you should have done? You should have exiled my commander. The shield counter prevents it from yes. being destroyed or yeah. taking damage. But, but you were going to continue exiling cards and yeah. making him stronger. Speaker. So I saw your guy. So let's throw that guy's let's throw I'll play that. My um Chur Scholar Scrawler. Ch Chasm Scholar? Chasm what do you scholar. do? Whenever you draw a card, put a one one card. Oh fuck. <laughs> and when he dies, he creates squid tokens. Equal to the uh Equal to the number one, one counters on him. And he's going to connive every turn, turn, so he'll be drawing a card every turn. Great! And I will Holy equip that dude. to it. Wow! Um, she's got flying and first strike. You don't have any thing that can block, block it. it. You can make one guy unblockable with the, uh, that guy unblockable with that, and then you can connive the other. You can. Yeah, there you go. Wow. And you're going to connive. Show him what you drew. I drew. This guy gets a one, one one counter on him. There you go. And I will discard what I drew. Stolen identity. Okay. And then who's conniving? Um, let's continue to pump. Just the same son of a bitch. <laughs> Just the same dude. Keep, keep, keep bump, bumping up. Okay. And doesn't this guy give everyone yeah, a one one counter? everyone a one Here, one Just a... Here, just put it put it like this for now. Okay. We'll do that for now, and then when you get more guys, oh shit, those thopters have got one ones too. Holy fuck! This guy's got two over here. Hmm. Great. Um. Okay, so this is gonna be. Is it him too, or is it every other creature? Damage to a player, put a one one counter. Whenever I Okay, that that doesn't go through until after you deal the damage. Okay, okay. So, so that's good. But, but you don't you can't block yeah, these I know. two. Yeah, and, and I can't block him. Yeah, so let's see. Her. Yeah, no, no, no. But I, I I thought it went through before just when it attacked. So I was gonna add the damage on top, but I don't do that yet. So that's five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, and then there's your one one counter. So I'm down to 25. Okay. That kind of sucks. Is that your turn? That is turn. You've got the biggest dude. You took out the guy I put the 1-1 one, one counters on last time. I'm going to draw. Well, we drew a land, finally. And it enters the battlefield tapped. If I control two or more basic lands. Oh, hey. It's only for basic lands, so it's not tapped. So that's good. Do I have anything that's really helpful? It should enter the battlefield untapped if you control two enters, or more. It enters the battlefield tapped unless you control two or more basic lands. Yeah, so it's tapped. You don't own two more. Or, oh, oh, god damn it. Fuck. You oh. own one basic yeah, land. Yeah, you know what, guy? I don't even think that's really going to matter. Um... I could do that. I don't I don't see what good that's gonna do. Oh, I gotta figure out who I'm putting this one one counter on. Um put on the devoted druid. Why'd you do that? Because I can put a one minus one minus one counter on it to untap it. So I can untap it and retap it. You could just tap that one straight up for four mana. Yeah, and now I've got another three I can potentially produce right here. Of course, that'll kill it, but what do you do? Okay. Um. I'm going to run out of camp. These two decks are going to run through my counters real fucking fast, dude. Um, so 
Okay, how much mana do I got to work with here? Three. I need more mana. I got that too. Do you? Let's go. One, two, three. Oh, that's not gonna work. Wow. Options limited. We're gonna have to go for broke here. So let's uh, tap these. There, there, there. Let's just do that. There we go. And and my elf six. here. Yep, we're gonna go for Vishkar's expertise. I'm gonna draw three cards. And then I can play a spell with mana value five or less from my hand. And I played my land this turn, so that's kind of pointless. Let's, if I remember right, this is a good one right here, if I remember right. This is like a commander right here. But you're not going to help me at the moment. It's a good one, just it's not going to help me right now. I don't think anything's going to help me right now. I could play one spell with mana value five or less. Uh, okay, we're going to play my Fathom Mage. There you go. Whenever it gets a 1-1 one, one counter on it, I can draw a card. And then I'm going to play... I'm going to tap that, tap that, and tap that to play... Not that one. I almost played the wrong one. I'm going to play Contractual Safeguard. And if I cast it during my main phase, I can put a shield counter on a creature I control. And I'm going to put it on, I don't know. He's already got a counter on him. I'll put him on Fathom Mage. And then I'm going to put a 1 1 counter on every one of my creatures. So. There's one. Really? Yep. And one on my rhino. There we go. And I get to draw a card. That's what I drew. If I play it during my main phase, I uh, put a shield counter on a creature and then it lets me put one, pick a type of counter I have on a creature and put one, one type of that type of counter on every creature I have. Gotcha. It's not, yeah, he's just, his guys are unblockable, so he's got too much. <sighs> I mean, I could attack with my Rhino, but then then he'll attack with another guy, because he won't need an unblockable guy. Hmm. I'm kind of fucked. My turn? Yep. Okay. That's my turn. <laughs> We're pretty fucked. This, this deck's a bad son of a bitch, man. It's all unblockable shit. Draw. That goes up. Show them what to do. I drew a land. There's the Pacific three lanes. Three. Jesus. Four, four. Oh, My yeah, plus that. Team. Yep, yep. Fuck. Oh, no. Because it didn't do damage. Oh, yeah, it wasn't attacking. Oh, God. Okay, you know what? You're just, uh... It gets the 1-1 one, one counter, too, doesn't it? Or is it every other yeah, creature? Yeah, it... Yeah. That doesn't get it. They, oh, yeah, still... they weren't attacking. And then crank that up by one. I'd give you more of these, but I've only got the one left. <laughs> we might have to start whipping out some 20-sided dice here soon. Okay. Whip out some D20s. So... I'm thinking he's going to make his guys unblockable and fuck me up again. <laughs> So does Swiftfoot Boots tap with the creature when it swings, or no? Uh, no. Okay, well, I'll use that. What? What are you doing? I'm going to tap Swiftfoot Boots as one of my artifacts. artifacts. Okay. And then that, that one's got flying. Okay. Oh, so. okay, so you're just adding another attacker just to piss me off. Yeah. Oh, okay. 
You're not attacking with your 3-3, three, three, dude? No. Because that can be blocked. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. I see what's going on here. And what's conniving? Oh, you're going to buff your guy up. Hmm. Let's... It don't really matter, I guess. Not particularly. Or... Just keep doing the same guy. <laughs> yeah. Just for shits and giggles. Yes. And then up your guy because you're drawing your card. Yeah. Holy shit. That's what it drew. Oh, if it's unblockable. He didn't even play a fucking card this turn, man. <laughs> okay, so I can't block any of this shit. So you gotta discard something and then I'll take my damage. We'll discard... Oh, it's gotta be a non line card. Okay, yeah, we'll discard that one. Okay. And you put that 1-1 one, one counter on now. No, who was who was conniving? You said it was this guy. Yeah, I already did. Oh, you you did it beforehand. Okay, oops. You already put your one one counter there for drawing the card. Did I? Yeah, yeah, you did. You did. No, you did. You you cranked him up. And then, so you've got. Fuck, dude. Uh, where is this guy at? Five, so seven, so, eight, nine, ten, eleven, 11 twelve. 13, 14. 14? I think you can't block, for sure. 14 unblockable. Lame. So I'm down to 11. So next turn, I'm dead, dude. I can't I can't go through that again, especially since he's helping all of his guys now. That gets a 1-1. One, one. This guy over here gets a 1-1. One, one. This guy goes up to 2, and this goes up to 6. Jesus. Lame. I've got plenty of mana. I just I don't have any defense or offense going. Well, we're dead next turn. So I said I wanted the game to go fast. Well, this one's going pretty quick. Hmm. Okay. And are you playing anything or no? He's not even going to play nothing. Okay. My turn. Go for it. Uh, you got the strongest guy by far, so there we go. Another fucking mana producer. Oh no, this is a proliferator. Ooh, there we go. I give me some fucking tokens now too. So the hell with you. I'll put my one one token over here on my fathom mage so I can draw a card. Great. We'll play a planes and we're gonna tap that. I'll just use it for the colorless, for soul ring. Okay. Oh wait, I don't want to play my planes yet. I don't want to do that. I'm going to tap one, two, three. So there's three for my evolution sage right there. Now ah, fuck. I'm countering him. Okay, he's gone. You got two treasure tokens though. So. I get two treasures? Yes. Do I have treasure tokens over here? I've got clues. You should have them. I've got elementals, I've got fishies, I got elephants, and I got a copy. I, I I like the fishies. I didn't get to play the fishies, darn it. I really I dig those fishies, they're unblockable. Just put a two yeah, on. just put a little two on it. I've only got one of the one things left, so I better save it. Well, that kinda sucked. Oh well, now I'll play my planes. Well, that kinda ruined what I was playing in there. Um hmm. Nothing really matters. All these guys will be unlockable. I guess I might as well blow them all out this turn. What do you do? Okay, we'll tap that and that to play together forever. And when it enters, I support. Two, so I'm gonna put one on the Phantom Mage and one on my Druid, I guess. And I draw a card. There we go. You choose target creature with a counter on it. When that creature dies this turn, return that card to its owner's hand. Well, that's kind of worthless. And you're not gonna help me, guy. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, there's nothing I've got that's going to really help. I guess I'm doing this. I'm doing the best I can, man. 
we'll go with two there and I guess we'll tap that. I'll bring this guy out. I put two one one counters on a target creature. I'm gonna go with my Fathom Mage so I can draw two more cards. Just keep drawing and hope we get something here. There's nothing I have that can be blocked. I don't got anything with trample. He'll just block and then and then I'm fucked next turn. So that's not gonna help. I need something to give him like trample or man, that's not even gonna help. I'd have to buff him up quite a bit, man. <sighs> what do you do? Destroy target artifact or enchantment. Well, that's not really gonna do shit now, is it? That's not going to help. You're not helping me, guy. I'll tap that. And I don't know. I'll give it a minus one, minus one to untap it. And then I'll retap it for that. And then I'm going to use both these treasures. There you go. I'll put it right there. And tap that to exile the top card of my library it is midnight clock that's not going to do me any good it gets a brick counter on it but i'm not even going to waste my time with that i'm out of mana i'm out of options and he's going to kill me this turn so go ahead i'll uh um, i don't i no, you just block this will just give you squid tokens when he dies so that's kind of a waste all that'll do is make me lose my shield counter on my guy. Yep. I guess. I guess I end my turn and you're going to come in and finish me off. All right. Well, I'm tired. Where are we at here? How long did that game go? 39 minutes? Not quite as fast as I wanted, but. And you make you guys unblockable. Come in and yeah. finish me off. Yep, now I'm dead. Alrighty. Well, that was the first game. We'll pause it. We'll get it all set up for round two. And then uh, we'll get it going again. Alright, we're all set up. There's my starting hand. And I'll kick this thing off. That's mine. Oh, yeah. Vivid this Meadows. Good. They enter some two... Uh, Charge counters, charge whatever type can. the uh, charge counters. And it's taps. That's my turn. Alright. I'll draw. Yeah. Alright. We will play um, Arcane Scrum. Sanctum. Sanctum. Okay. Such a turn. Uh, yes. Okay. I'm going to draw. There we go. Uh. Yeah, we'll go ahead and play that. Sky Cloud Expanse. There. I'll tap that. Reduce the Plains Island to play my Hoof Prince of the Stag. Whenever you draw a card, you may put a hoof, uh, hoof print counter on hoof prints of the stag. And two of the planes remove four hoof print counters from it to create a 4-4 white elemental creature token. That's my turn. Alright, I will untap. Draw. Uh, that's what I drew. Um... You're kind of a bad fucker. I guess we'll... I'm gonna make a commander deck out of this guy eventually. We'll play that. It's my lamp return. It's tapped. Yeah. That's a thriving aisle. Okay. And I will... I guess name uh, planes. Okay. 
And I will pass the turn. Okay, I will draw. That's what we drew. What do you do? Uh, okay. Okay, I'm gonna play that. I'm gonna reveal force so it doesn't enter tapped. Not that it matters. Up tap with this guy. Right up expense. Oh, I put a 1 1 counter on this. Uh, no, not a 1 1 counter, a hoof print. A hoof print counter. How many hoof print counters does it need? It needs four, so it's got one. And then it becomes what? I, I pay two in a planes and remove four from it, and I create one of these 4 4 elemental tokens right here. Gotcha. It'll have flying, but I need four of them. Okay, at the beginning of combat on your turn, put a 1-1 one, one counter on target creature you control. It's Luminarch Aspirant. At and the beginning of your turn, right? At the beginning of combat. Okay. And I haven't entered my combat phase, so I'll go to my combat phase. I've only got the one creature, so there we go. And that's my turn. Okay. Untap. Draw. Uh-oh. Hey, we might have caught a break here. Oh, uh, that's what I drew. Because that's what I fucking need. <laughs> I will play a swamp. I will tap that for an island, plains, swamp, that guy. This. Oh shit, yeah. this the 1 1 guy? Oh fuck, god damn it. That guy, yeah. Uh, Son of a bitch. Guy. Okay, set your turn. Yeah. I don't like that guy. Alright, I'm gonna draw. There we go, that's what we drew. Oh, that kind of sucks. I don't wanna play that. So I put a hoof print beat counter there. I'm gonna play a forest. I'm gonna tap to bring out my commander. Yeah, it's got a shield counter on it. And then... How strong is this guy? A 2-2? Two, two? He's a 1-1. Uh, one, one. One, He's one. a 1-1. One, one. My guy's a 2-2. Two, two. I'm gonna put the 1-1 one, one counter on this guy and I'm gonna attack for 2. Okay. Ha! And that's my dream. I will untap. Tappy tappy? Yep. Draw. Oh, he gets a 1 1 counter. That's what I drew. Yes. Uh oh, I dropped it. I will play Dark Water Telecombs. Okay. So it has tap. One tap it produces produce two. Yeah, I get you. And You're bringing out your commander. Okay. And then I will attack. Oh shit! It's unblockable. So he's gonna connive. So he'll put a counter on his guy, and then he'll put another counter on his guy. What'd you draw? Show him what you drew. I drew that. Uh. And there's we'll the one for that. Wayfarer's bomb. And a one counter for the discard. So he's it's now a four four. So that went south really fast. Like, I didn't even think of the conniving combo there. That kind of sucks. Uh, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa! He's a four. I could block him. He's unblockable. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, that's right. That guy has the unblock. God damn it! Well, well, that sucks. So I guess I can't block him. There went that idea. It's like, should I just risk my shield counter? But then he'll get tokens. Oh. I don't even have to try to stop to think if I want to make that move, because I can't. Oh, okay. Well, that sucked pretty bad. Is that your turn? That is turn. All right, we're going to draw. There's what we drew. What the hell are you? Okay. So we went up to three there. And then I'm going to play Exotic Orchard. I'm going to tap all my land. 
to draw three cards, and I can play an additional land this turn. There we go. There we go. There we go. Fuck! I was hoping to draw another land. I didn't. The only land I got that I can play, enters tapped. So, fuck me, dude. Um... Oh, Jesus. Oh, this got three more counters on it. There we go. Well, that's six. How did it get through? Every time I draw a card. Whenever I draw a card, I drew, I drew the three with this. Remember? Oh. Well, it, I have to pay the two in the planes to, to use the thing, so I don't have two in the planes. Hmm. Yeah, I, I think you've got the, the by far stronger deck there. I think you got the strongest deck, guy. Of the of the set, I mean that the way that thing combos that conniving ability with the unblockable on practically everything you got. That's pretty neat. His deck's pretty spiffy, there, guy. I mean, this one's not shabby. I'm not gonna say it's a piece of shit. It's just that that thing's that thing's quite the show, man. <laughs> um, then you just attack me with a two four. You probably do something to my guy, Jesus. I need a block. Lame. I guess I could just put the counter there. I think I, I think I'm gonna attack just because it doesn't really matter at this point. He'll just make his guy unblockable. So I'll put the one one counter over here though to make this a three three, and then I'll attack with him, and he's gonna get plus two plus two. So four Why five. Is he, getting plus two? he gets plus. Um, so when he attacks. Uh, when he attacks, target creature gains trample and gets... Oh, oh fuck, he gives the trample thing. I could have used that last turn. It would have mattered. Gets plus X, plus X until end of turn, where X is the number of different kind of counters I have. Oh, wait, no, plus three, because I got hoof print counters. And charge counters. Oh, holy shit, he's going to get... One, two, three, four, because I got shield counters, one, one counters, hoof print counters, and charge counters. So he gets plus four, so he's going to get... So he's an 8-8 eight, eight with Trample. Okay, I'll take the 8. 8 commanded. He'll just exile my guy, I bet you. I bet you he's going to exile. My turn? Yep, you go. Alright. The exile will get right past the uh, shield counter there. Draw. Um... And then swing. You're gonna connive with it. it. So, so draw. Show what you drew. Oh, these were the two cards I drew this turn. Okay. Um. What do I want? You put the one one for the first draw, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, I'll put I two got more. a pitch. Yeah, I'll put the two more on it. There you go. So. One for the connive and. Uh, one for the draw. He's unblockable. Six, seven. I'm going to go ahead and take this seven damage while you figure out what you're doing there because I can't do nothing about it. So I'm down to 27. Um, but he's got the eight commander damage. Or discard. We'll discard Shadow and Mage Infiltrator. Infiltrator? Yeah, he's got fear. Shadow Mage Infiltrator. Deck. When Shadow Mage Infiltrator deals combat damage to a player, you may draw a card. Oh. That would have comboed good off your little guy yeah. right there. Yeah. But um I'm guessing he's got other he, stuff, okay. And you still got four untapped land, so I'm pretty sure yeah. he's doing something. Uh, so. I'm going to play that as my land for turn. It's Enters got... tapped. I'll name black. Okay. And then um we 
will exile your commander. God damn it. I saw that one coming. Oh, he shit. didn't like that. <laughs> if you're wondering, well, don't you have the shield counter? It's only if it's destroyed or dealt damage. He did not destroy it. He exiled it. So that sucked. I knew that was coming. I was like, that'll just piss him off if I do that. But I got to do something here. <laughs> All right. That's your turn. Yeah. So, okay, I'm going to draw, put a 1-1 one, one counter, uh, not a 1-1, one, one, a uh, hoof print counter mm -hmm. there. Yeah, I knew he wasn't going to like that commander kicking his shit in. <sighs> midnight Clock, I really dig Midnight Clock. That's a really good card. I really like it. It's a nifty one, but it's too slow. I needed something a little more speed. I need some speed here, man. Well, we're going to have to do that. Do I have enough mana to even do this? Okay, wait, wait, wait. Where's the other one? I don't even have the mana to play both of them, damn it. I don't have mana, man. Shit. Welcome to the world. The world of the real. I could play this. Wow, okay, I am, I'm actually playing the Midnight Clock, actually. <laughs> okay, let's see, yeah. So we're going to play the Midnight Clock. And then we'll tap it for its mana. Wait, 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 yeah, there we go. We're going to tap it for its island to play that guy. And we're going to put a 1-1 one, one counter on him. This guy's spiffy, dude. Have you seen Cat him? Avatar. Yeah, he, I want to make a deck out of him, dude. Look at him. Oh, so man, you can choose that news editor. Yeah, right you now. can put uh, first strike. Uh, what is it? Vigilance or a one-one counter on him. Every time a creature enters the battlefield, if he's got counters on him, you put the exact same number and type of counters on that creature. Oh, gotcha. I'd swap them out and make him my commander over here, but it doesn't have the the, the green. mountain, uh, the green in him. The mountain. Yeah, and I, you I'm mocked the, me for you know what, guy. The plains of forest. Yeah, that's yeah. yeah, funny shit. <laughs> Uh, I was thinking of playing the force that was in my hand that turn, but I went. With but you changed your mind. Yeah, that was uh that was a game we played earlier today. Mm -hmm. Huh. Okay. Um. It is vigilance, right? First strike vigilance. Yeah. Okay. One one. Yeah, he'd make a really cool. I might. I might make a commander out of him. He might be. Uh. I'm already in the process of building a couple of different commander decks, so he might be in the next, the next lineup maybe. Um. Uh, suckage. We are gonna get steamrolled again. He's going two for zero, oh, man. So yeah, I wanted a quick game. Man, his deck is good, dude. I really, I really like this one. That's a good one. Um, I'm put my one one counter on this guy, I guess, and that's my turn. So that one, when somebody else enters, they'll get two one one counters. <laughs> All right, my turn. Yep. Watch him just kill that guy now. <laughs> just kill him. Oh, fuck him. <laughs> okay, I'll draw. Uh, gets another one. I'll go ahead He's and... He's got black, so you could just kill draw. him. Draw. Show him what you drew. You show him those what you drew this turn. Those are Nikki the two cards, yeah, that I drew this turn. Yeah, he likes playing black because I like slamming the field with shit, and then he just uses black to kill it. It's kind of lame. I'm guessing he'll probably just kill this this new guy, the uh, the editor. Um, I'm my little kitty cat. Don't kill the kitty. That's bad. Do what I want, damn it. And you're going to put, so he's going to be 9, 10. Jesus, he's a bitch. I'm going to smack him for 10 damage. We'll discard that. Okay, two one one counters. I get smacked for 10. I'm down to 17 already, man. And okay. Then and he I still will. hasn't played nothing. He's still got all of his land untapped. I will play Sunken Hollow as my land for turn. It's a tapied one. Yeah. I will. So there's two. He's going to kill my guy. Three. Four. Killing Not the kitty. quite. 
I'll put them all from the second top card of your deck. Put target spell or non land permit into its owner's library second from the top. Commit. You got to me, son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. Yeah, that deck. Second from the top. Second. Okay, so there we go. Ooh. Oh. Ben Dyklock's got a counter on it, too. Oh, mm -hmm. I said got a counter on Every it. upkeep. Every upkeep, not mine, every upkeep, it gets a one uh, a midnight counter on it. And when it gets to 12, I shuffle. What do I do? I shuffle my deck and draw well, seven cards. Well, I think cards. you're going to die before. Yeah, yeah. Play. Like I said, when I said I was going to play it, I was like, I really dig this card, but it's too slow. I need something to help me now. And then I was like, well, I don't have any mana, so I guess I'll use this for the mana production. And then you just okay, set my fucking... Foil. You just set my kitty cat back into my hand. So let's see. Yeah, right. when it gets the 12th counter on it, I shuffle my hand in my graveyard into my library and draw seven cards, and then it gets exiled. Yeah, it's just, it's kind of a spiffy one, man. And You're... I can pay I can pay two in an island to put another counter on it any time. So, is that your turn? No, I believe so. God damn it, this sucks. We're getting totally steamrolled. That was not what I wanted to see. That's not going to help. And there's another counter on my clock, and there's another counter over here. So I can get, I could give me a flyer if I want, but that's not really going to help. Is it a flyer? Yeah, it'll have flying, the elemental token I create. Ah, oh, see. Shit. I mean, I don't give me a big dude, but I only got two turns left unless because that guy will be unblockable, so I gotta do something. Yeah, this is Yeah, his his deck's too offensive. This doesn't have enough uh this doesn't have any like kill. This is an offensive deck too, but his is faster. If you got two offensive decks going up against each other, the faster one's usually gonna win. Huh. And the, the one that can actually wipe shit out, none of my stuff can wipe shit out. It lets me it's got draw. the perfect amount of yeah. offense and defense. Yep. His, his deck's really good, man. Um, so if you're only going to get one of these commander decks, get this one, man. That's a really good one. Well, I don't know. We haven't seen the fifth one yet. We still got that fifth one to go through, so I guess I shouldn't tell you that, but... We'll probably do that. Uh, that'll have to be next week and we do the next, the other commander. Hmm. God, I don't really got nothing I can do, man. That one's a pretty good one, I think, too. It just got to the nope against this one. <laughs> yep. No, no, this isn't, like I said, this isn't a shabby deck. It's just that one's particularly good. <laughs> I think so far all, all four of them have been pretty good. Yeah, none of them have been shabby. We haven't found a shabby one yet. I guess I'm going with that and... Okay, we'll go with, um, um what, what are you I'll doing I'll counter now? that. Are you fucking serious? And you'll get two, two. Counter target non-creature spell, non-creature. Oh. It's a creature spell. Oh, thank God. I was about to lose my shit. Well, the next thing I was going to play was a creature too, so. And I'll play another creature. I'll put two one one counters on my Fathom Mage and draw two cards. Oh, look at that! Can you believe it? Oh. I probably shouldn't do this, but you know what? It was a kitty cat. <laughs> Are you shocked? And there's the other one. So, we didn't draw land, so we're fucked. <laughs> there we go. That's, uh, oh, combat. Oh, hey, I could put a 1-1 counter over here and draw, and draw a card. Ooh, goody. That, that's actually going to help a lot, actually. Swift foot boots, man. <laughs> you better watch this. <laughs> Hey, guess what? That's going to be my turn. Holy shit, right. dude. I will untap. Oh, wow. Yeah, I like the conniving mechanic, man. That's Draw. really good. This guy uses it like a motherfucker. <laughs> I'll make him unblockable and he connives. Oh, shit. Uh-oh. He must have drawn, drawn what he drew. He must have oh, drawn something good. Ten. That's at 10. So it's an 11, an 11. I drew this. It must be good because his eyes like bulge when it's your 
I'm guessing it's gonna be bad. Uh, I will play Path of Ancestry as Modern Ant for turn. It doesn't enter tapped. That's not tapped. Yeah. It does, it it does it? Oh, okay. Interesting. Well, that's it. Oh, I'm thinking of the, uh, not Command Terror, but there's another one kind of like Command Terror. I'm thinking of that one. That, that one doesn't interject. I will confess, if you're watching this, I, I don't have the capacity to memorize every single fucking card. In the, I'm, not, I'm not one of those type of guys. I, I can't memorize every fucking card in the, in the game. So. <laughs> I will tap those two. I'm not one of those guys. I know every single card that and was ever printed. I will play this one. Okay. This one's bad. Focus. Uh oh. It looks cool. I like the way it looks. Stryonic Resonator. This sounds familiar too. Oh shit! It's the copy. Oh, oh <laughs> no! Oh, that sucks, dude. He's gonna connive twice. So I'll swing. And then I'll tap. Wow! Twice. So I'll draw. Show what you drew. I drew this. Oh, that's horrible shit, dude. And I will pitch this. So there's two. Um, two. Holy fuck. Drew, um, could I begin? Can I begin? There's that. You know what you could have done? And I'll pitch this. You could have attacked with your commander and connived him as well. Not that it would have mattered. <laughs> I guess you just pop up your oh, one guy over and 15. over again. 15. 15? Oh my god, I'm down it's to... a 15. 15. Great shit, dude. I'm down to two, dude. And when he dies, he's going to make fucking 14 tokens. So it's not like killing him's gonna do me any good. Yeah, I'm dead next turn, dude. <laughs> Unless I draw a board wipe. I don't I don't think this has any board wipes. I need I need like a board wipe or something. Is that your turn? Oh I believe so. I gained a counter too. It's up to three. Ooh, Ooh I'm getting closer to that twelve, man. Alright, I'm gonna draw. That's what I drew. What do you do? Let me let me put my hoof print counter that I'm never gonna use over here. <laughs> and put a Put a time counter there. What what what, what is it called? An hour counter. An hour counter, not a time counter. Uh okay, well you're all fine and dandy, but I don't think you're gonna help me because that guy's gonna be unblockable. So Okay, what do we need to do here? I need to draw cards because none of this is doing shit for me. How do I draw cards? Do I got anything? Well, there's another thing you do. You could just die. Uh, I can. I could. Oh, no. That's just going to put a counter on there. So that's not going to help. Actually, it looks like I am just going to die. Because I, I don't even think I have a way to draw any cards. And none of these are going to help me. Can you do me 30 damage? That becomes the question. I just want to draw a card, man, but I don't I don't even have a way to do that. I, I don't got nothing that can even put counters on my mm. fathom mage, man. That's pretty sad. <sighs> I, I could put counters on this guy, but that doesn't help me draw cards. And sure, he'd be a big dude, but your guy's unblockable, so that doesn't really help. This is bad. Hmm. Jesus Christ. Okay, we're going to go with this. One, two, three, four. We're going to play our Oracle's Volt. And we'll tap it. Oh, hey. Oh, he's going to count. Oh, fuck. I forgot he's got the counter. He's countering. God damn it. Son of a bitch. I forgot about that. That's the only thing I could have really played anyway, so it doesn't really matter. I'll tap. Instead of tapping that, I'll tap that. I'll tap that and that for my zoning bird. Uh, one one flyer when it deals combat damage, I proliferate, but I don't. That's never gonna happen. And that's that's all I can do. So I end my turn. He's gonna kill me. So yeah, this was a really good one, man. Holy fuck, dude. <laughs> and that's it. That's gonna be game. He'll make his guy unblockable, he'll trigger his thing, and he's gonna wipe me out. So that was our uh would have been my next two.
What's your next two cards that you... Well, so that those was... would have been the three that I was drawn that turn. For the conniving? Yeah. yeah. So that was the Pulverizer versus the Oculus. And... Yeah, the Oculus. This this is one bad fucker, dude. That that deck that deck was set up good, man. The so. pulverizer didn't live up to its name. <laughs> hey, yes he did. He got pulverized. <laughs> okay, <laughs> he got pulverized. Not I dealt you I dealt you some damage over there, <laughs> and then and then got my shit kicked in for my <laughs> for my troubles. All right, so uh, there you have it. Uh, two game, uh, two round sweep. Just got swept. That that Oculus is a good deck. So there you go. That's uh, those two commander decks down. I'll probably have. We haven't figured out what we're doing. We're probably going to do uh, that. Fifth commander deck versus one of our original commander decks. So an actual, not a pre-con deck, but a, an actual mage set up commander deck. But that'll be uh, next weekend, probably. So, uh, and I don't know if that'll be a, we might do a one-on-one -on -one or maybe we'll have a, another player with us. We don't know yet, but uh, thanks for tuning in and I guess I'll see you next time.